a guy that says if the weather's clear can do, can do. And this guy says the horse can do. If he says the horse can do, can do, can do, can do. Well, tell him I'm loaded and looking for action. 
I just acquired 5,000 potatoes. 5,000 bucks? Where did you acquire it? I collected the reward on my father. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody's looking for action these days. I hope they can find some place soon. Why, Lieutenant Brannigan. Mr. South Street, it is Lieutenant Brannigan of the New York Police Department. A pleasure. And you guys seen Nathan Detroit? Oh, and uh, which Nathan Detroit would that be? The Nathan Detroit who's been running a floating crap game around here and getting away with it by moving into a different spot every night. Why are you telling us this? Be your honor. I am telling you this because I know you two bums work for Detroit, rusting up customers for his crap game. We do? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, you can tell him from me. I know that right now he's looking for a spot. Well, no one's gonna give him a spot because they know Brannigan is breathing down their neck. Hi, Nathan. Fellas, I'm having terrible trouble. Everybody's scared on account of that lousy Brannigan. Something wrong, Mr. Detroit? <laughs> oh, hello, Lieutenant. I hope you don't think I'm talking about you. There are other lousy Brannigans. Oh, of course. Uh, I was just talking to your colleagues about your crap game. I think you're having a little trouble finding a place. <laughs> well, uh, the heat is on, as you must know from the fact that you now have to live on your salary. <laughs> Nathan, did you uh, find a place? What does that cop want from me? What am I, a sex maniac? I merely run a crap game for the convenience of those who want an election, in return for which I take a small cut. Is that a crime? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nathan, did you find a place? Did you find a place? Did, I, find, did I find it? Yes, I found a place for you all in the crack game tomorrow night in the Radio City Music Hall. Yeah. How do you suppose we fix the ashes? I tried all the regular places. The back of the cigar store, the funeral Nathan, parlor. you said once there might be a chance at the Biltmore Garage. I was over to the Biltmore Garage. Spoke to Joey Biltmore himself. He says he might take a chance and let us use the place if I give him a thousand bucks. Oh, a thousand bucks? In cash. You won't take my marker. Your marker's no good, huh? What do you mean? A marker ain't just a piece of paper that says I owe you $1,000, signed Nathan Detroit. A marker is uh, like a pledge, which a guy can't welch on. It's like not someone in the black. My marker is as good as gold. Only Joey Billmore don't think so. It don't seem possible. Me, without a livelihood. Why, I've been running the crap game ever since I was a juvenile delinquent. <laughs> Can't you do something? What can I do? I'm broke. I couldn't even buy Adelaide a present today. And you know what day today is. It is mine and Adelaide's 14th anniversary. Yeah? Yeah. We've been engaged for 14 years. <laughs> well, concentrate on the game that counts up the heel with high players. The Greek is in town. Brandy Bottle Bates. Splendid slip. I know, I can make a fortune. But where can I have the game? The Biltmore Garage wants a grin. But we ain't got a grin down here. And they've now got a lock on the door of the gym at Public School 84. There's the stock room behind McCluskey's bar. But Mrs. McCluskey ain't a good scout. And things being how they are, the back of the police station is out. <laughs> so the Biltmore Garage is the spot. But the one thousand bucks we ain't got Why it's got all reliable Nate and Nate and Nate and Nate and Nate If you're looking for action, you'll burn up the spot Even when the heat is on, it's never too hot no.